Hi, I'm Ryan Floyd, Territory Manager in Alberta here with Nexseed. Today I wanted to do a quick little video on the velocity plate on the Cambria Delta air screen. So a lot of people, when going through training and stuff, they'll, they'll understand what it is, but they're not quite sure where it is and what it's doing. So I'm just gonna show you exactly what it is, how it operates, and what the adjustment on the side of the machine is actually doing in the machine. So first we'll pull this off. The door's off. We gotta pull the tray out. And then once the tray is out, we can look up above in here and you'll be able to see it. I'm gonna flip the camera around and get a flashlight and stick it up there so you can actually see what it's doing. All right, camera's turned around. So we're gonna take a peek up inside. So to go up in, you got your two decks here. Then we're going to go up above this metal piece. When you look up in there, you'll see that piece up there. And I'm going to position my camera in here and stick a flashlight up. I'm going to run down to the bottom and move it up and down for you guys. You can see how, what it's actually doing and then uh, I'll explain a little bit about why that's important. Alright, so right now the velocity plate is at 99 on the readout. Now I'm gonna run down and change it all the way to zero and then come back up to 50. So while I'm running down the plant to go do that uh, adjustment, just wanna do a quick little explanation on this velocity plate. So this velocity plate allows us to change the total drop of the seed as it comes off the shaker feeder and, and down and it changes the total distance that seed falls, so that means that the total volume of air going through doesn't change, but the velocity of it increases the higher this plate goes because we're reducing that area. So this allows us to be a lot more precise in this air separation, and it really keeps us uh, available to do precise separations and just get a little bit of seed or not at all, depending on what it is we're separating, and really one of the key features in this machine that sets it apart from the rest. So uh, I'm going to do a couple more videos explaining the rest of the air separations on this, but until then, we'll see you later. Hi, I'm Ryan Floyd, Territory Manager here in Alberta with Nexseed. Today I'm up on top of the Delta and I'm talking about the second setting of the air on the Cambria Delta air screen. And it is the pre-suction, or I would like call it the false air intake. And there's a flap inside on top that moves in accordance to the servo down here. So I'm gonna show you how to get into that. And then I'm gonna stick the camera inside again and show you what that is and what is doing and what is opening or closing when you're adjusting the setting down below. So there's a panel up here. There's a couple little catches that hold in place. You take this off and in here is your expansion chamber and when you look in around the corner there is a metal plate that is on a hinge and connected to the motor down here and that will open and close as per the, the control panel down there. So you get a couple different angles of this for you and you'll see how that's working. All right, so in the last little video, I talked about number two on the pre-suction. There's also a post-suction down below in that control box. And pre-suction is over in here. Post-suction, access hole right over here. So we have two expansion chambers in this machine. And number two, controls the front. Number three, controls the back. And it's the same false air intake or post-suction air flap. It's controlling the total volume of air that's actually getting pulled 
through the seed, but for the air on the end of the machine, not the front. So I took the camera in there quickly. Same thing that was I showed you in the last one, but this one's in the back end of the machine. All right, so I'm going to tilt it. There is the false air flap or the post section flap on the back of the machine. All right, so we talked about number one, number two, and number three. But there's also a number four. So I'm gonna run down, take a look at that one. All right, so down at the bottom of the machine on the Delta, here's that control box. So on the control box, we have the air velocity, free suction, the after suction, and the air lifting hood. So we have control on from zero to 99 on all of these, just by switching this button here. And the air lifting hood will actually control the height that we have on the hood of the final air screen. So that gives us another way to adjust the amount of air that's actually going through the seed to do a separation. After it's been through the entire machine, we could hit it one more time with air and do one more nice little separation on pulling those little bit lighter kernels out of the seed before it's out of your air screen. All right, so just talked about the control box. Now it controls this air lifting hood, which is the number four up top. This allows us to have even more flexibility in setting. I'm gonna lift this up, we'll get a closer view in here of, there's actually a screen. So all the seed comes off the last three decks, hits this screen, and this screen is shaking with the machine, so it'll be moving. And then we have air on the bottom that's blowing up through this screen. So that actually works to fluidize that bed and push the lighter ones up. And then the air from the top, number three up there, which is truly really bad. And this allows us to pull that air through that seed, lift those lighter kernels up. We'll get kind of a mini gravity effect off of this. And it makes a little bit more of a separation, pulling that seed out and giving less work for every machine down the line from what this has done. So we got the machine behind me here, Cimbria Delta, super cleaner, and just went through the four settings that we have to adjust the air on this machine. So we have a way for number one and number two, the velocity plate and your pre-suction. It allows you to change your velocity as well as the volume of air on the machine. And then at the end, we have your post-suction and your air lifting hood, which again allows you to adjust your volume and your velocity of the air coming out the machine, but this time on the tail end. And what's really important about the way that post suction works is all the seeds going over that final air screen. So it's shaking with the machine and that shaking action combined with the air getting blown up from the bottom allows fluidization of that seed bed and the lighter stuff will rise. And then we have uh, the suction from the top pulling that lighter seed and lifting it out at the top. So that's what allows us to get that middlings cut that uh, other guys can't get on their machines. And it really differentiates the, the super cleaner from all other cleaners in the market.